coming back and thanks for me coming back. I've been down sick for a couple of weeks, uh, so I couldn't make any videos. Uh, but I did have a couple that came to mind, and, and one of them was triggered by uh, I follow Iraq veteran 8888, and uh, I'll put his channel down below. But, but they did a couple of videos. One of them was on um, uh, varying uh, rifles that would make good brush guns, you know, out, when you're out in, as they say, out in the deer woods, you know. So I don't hunt, but, you know, it might become necessary to go take one of those, those mammals. The other, the other uh, thing that's, that's taken place, and some of you have been following already, and that is the introduction of the detachable magazine 12-gauge shotgun. <clears throat> Now, I don't have a shotgun, and one of the reasons is I'm lazy, and I, don't, I just didn't feel like going through a whole bunch of other training in how to do the triple deluxe whiz-bang finger shit, you know, to put, to put uh, shells in the thing. And uh, then I did like the, the introduction of the semi-automatic shotgun, um, but it was the same issue. The issue was, well, once you're done with the five or eight rounds, what do you do? So I'm a magazine-fed kind of guy, basically, and uh, lo and behold, out is announced, um, I think in November of last year, certainly this month, the uh, detachable magazine 12-gauge shotgun. And I instantly said, there it is, now I'm going to get one, and then I said, why would I do that, since I have this? And for those of you that follow my channel, this is my 50 Beowulf, 50 caliber on an AR platform, 355 brain bullet out the front. It's my, I said, stop gun. It's my, I told you, you can't come in here. I don't care if you do have armor on gun, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the shotgun was a similar, had similar attraction for me because you could use slugs. And so now I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. I probably only use slugs in it because when I need to stop the threat, I want it to go down. I want it to go down hard. And I, want, I don't want anything they're wearing or anything they're hiding behind to get in the way. Uh, now... This dude here is accurate out to 200 yards, combat effective hits to 200 yards with a 355 grain, 50 caliber bullet. And nothing that comes to my door is going to be able to defeat this. Uh, well, even if you're wearing, you know, AR-500 steel on the front, you're going to go down. You're going to feel it. A trauma pad is not going to help you. Uh, you're going to have a ruined afternoon. Uh, don't even think about hiding in a car, hiding behind most things that you think are going to protect you, because they won't. So, my thought was, I mean, because I, I think the idea of a detachable magazine 12 gauge shotgun is pretty sexy, but should I get one, even though I have this. Now, I'm asking you guys for your opinion. Because um, I don't, I don't want to have a lot of guns because I can't carry them all, can't shoot them all at the same time, can't make a selection. I don't have room for five safes, if you know what I mean. So I really need to, to, to have a mission that justifies if I'm going to add a gun, whether it's a pistol or a long gun, why am I doing that? And if I'm going to replace one, why would I do that? So that's my thinking. Detachable magazine shotgun, 12 gauge, versus the 50 Beowulf. So, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate your comments. Carry on.